Let's talk about Docker images and Docker containers. Say we're building an image for WordPress, popular blogging app written in PHP. Inside our image, we need to include everything that WordPress requires to run. So that means things like the PHP interpreter, a web server, probably Apache, the WordPress application code, and maybe a database like MySQL. We also need to define the operating system it runs on, typically Linux. Once we've bundled all of that, the base Linux install, the MySQL binary, the WordPress code, and the PHP interpreter into an image, that image becomes read only. Its state can't change. So for example, if someone uploads a new post to our WordPress site, that change doesn't make its way into the image. So what's a container? Well, a container is a running instance of an image. When we use the docker run command, it creates a container from an image. If the image is named WordPress, we'd run docker run WordPress. And that command gives us a new running container with its own unique ID. So the image defines how the software runs and the container actually runs it. When the container starts, it launches the WordPress application and if we connect to the container, we then get a working website. And unlike images, containers are read-write. So once a container is running, it can write data to disk and interact over the network and stuff like that. But we're not just limited to one container. We can use Docker Run as many times as we want to create multiple instances of different containers from the same image. It's like opening multiple tabs in Chrome. So why would we want to run more than one container of the same image? Well, usually it comes down to scale, especially for backend systems. At boot dev, we often run between four and 10 instances of our backend API. When more and more users connect, our backend automatically spins up more and more containers so the load gets spread out evenly and doesn't overwhelm any one server. When we update our backend code, we push a new image and then start fresh containers from the new image. So remember, containers are stateful. They're running instances of an image and images are definitions of the app and everything that it needs to run.